grew up in church, going every Sunday to Sunday school and eventually going to youth group. All through middle school, I had a more personal relationship with Jesus, and I learned about repentance for the first time, and I realized that God forgives, and he can forgive everything I have done. Middle school was a very insecure time for everybody, and it's the awkward stage for everybody, and I struggled so much with body image. I thought no boy would ever like me because I was too ugly, too fat, or too awkward. My friends and I were always on edge, constantly fighting and taking out our insecurities on one another, and it was all around just a really bad time. Then towards the end of eighth grade, I got my first boyfriend, and we dated for around three years if you count middle school dating. I finally felt like I was loved and like I was worthy, but only to a degree. Any time he would talk to another girl, I instantly thought that she was better than me and that he would leave. This thought process created in me a habit of sabotaging. I, instant, I constantly would push his buttons and tell him to leave because he could find someone so much better out there. Eventually, that worked. Our relationship was good at first, but we were very codependent. I relied on this guy for everything he couldn't give me. A sense of self-worth, purpose, and belonging, and he did some of the same to me as well. Towards the end, it was mostly just a physical relationship, and looking back on it, I think we knew that things were not working out, and we relied on crossing boundaries and a physical connection to keep us together. I had close friends that I love and trust tell me that it wasn't healthy, and that we were both manipulative and emotionally immature, and that maybe breaking up wouldn't be such a bad thing, but I couldn't see their side. Now I appreciate that they were so honest with me, even if I chose not to hear them. He eventually ended our relationship, however devastated I was at the time, and I'm very thankful for it now. I went on a downward spiral after that, and I kind of lost my sense of self and belonging and purpose, and I was left feeling ashamed and guilty over the choices I'd made. I didn't know if God could forgive me, let alone if he loved me. My mind was lost to the lies that the enemy was feeding me. Eventually, my insecurities led me to believe that I would never be enough. I compared myself to every single girl that I saw and decided to see how they were better than me in every way, even if I knew nothing about them. This was detrimental to my faith in the Lord because it seemed like he was working in everyone's else, everyone else's lives, but he couldn't rid me of my self-hatred and shame. Even though at the start of senior year I had a new boyfriend and I was doing well in school, I still had all these feelings of comparison. I was the most negative person that I knew during this time, and I was bitter at God for making me the way that I am. I took it out of my family at home and I made them miserable. Despite all of this, my family and my parents loved me through it. They've been my biggest supporters throughout my life and they will never know how thankful I am for sticking by me. Fast forward to freshman year of college, I had gotten involved with crew right away on campus, knowing that I wanted to grow in my faith. I felt as though God could do anything though, except for fix my self-worth. I prayed and prayed all the time that he would take away my habit of comparison and feelings of shame about my past and I felt no different. In Crew, we talked about being set free from shame, comparison, and sin. I had never fully heard or understood that God forgave me and set me free from all sin, past, present, and future. I just thought it was, oh yeah, I forgive you, I guess, but you'll still fail. I finally felt as though I could be free from my past mistakes and never have to think about them again, and I've never looked back. Summer after freshman year, I got my first tattoo that says must speak, which means enough or sufficient in Hebrew as a reminder to myself that I'm enough and that God's enough. I continued to finish my sophomore year at Stout, and I'm, honestly, I felt pretty distant from God. It wasn't until this fall that I realized that I had no longer compared to myself to every girl I've ever looked at, or really anyone anymore, and this is 2016. I sat back and thought about it, and I noticed that I can't remember the last time I compared myself to another person. God did all the work, and I didn't know this. He'd set me free from my chains of comparison that I'd struggled with since elementary school, something I thought was impossible to free me from. My relationship with God is so far from perfect, as I am imperfect and struggle all the time. I'm broken, but I'm also restored. God broke me and put me back together with a glue that reminds me of who I am and who I am, who I was and who I am now, which is fearfully and wonderfully made in His image and free from the insecurities and shame that I was once chained by.